this has been a passion of ours for four plus years. When we got to Arizona, we were looking for a way to get involved and kids are a big passion of ours. When we see the kids that are fighting cancer, the first thing that pops in my head is they're so much stronger than I am. Just to see them go through all these treatments that just tear up their body physically and mentally and the family to go through it with them and how positive they've stayed through the worst moments of their life has been truly inspiring to me. Can I sign an autograph for you? Knowing that your child is in the best care, I think, would be the biggest peace of mind you can hold on to and in the hope that, you know, your child's going to fight through it. You know, with baseball, when I got called up to the Bayhoos with the Diamondbacks, I kind of felt like it was my responsibility to, to help others. And honestly, just kind of stumbled in here to, to PCH and thought, I mean, what better place to volunteer? And I mean, I'm still a kid myself, and it's just been great to see these kids and families go through such a tragic time, stay so positive, get through it, and then get back to going back to their life that they want to get to, whether that's getting back on a sports field, which they that's all they want to do at age 16, at 18. Do you think this looks like him? <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. I think about it almost every day when I'm out there on the baseball field. The kids are watching us play, and we need to go out there and give it our best effort because they're in here doing something a lot more serious than we're doing. When we first walked into um, PCH, we, we didn't know what to expect. We had never been um, to a children's hospital, and I think our first reaction was, wow, this is so colorful, so bright, so happy. I mean, when you walk into a lobby and when I think of a hospital, I think of just dungy white walls and no sunlight. And they've just done a tremendous job with having all the natural sunlight when you go visit the rooms. When we were just looking to get involved, they made it so incredibly easy. Whether it's hanging out with the kids like we've done the last few years or helping to raise some money to build this new cancer center for blood disorders. It's just, like we've said before, a huge honor. And We know how much this needs to grow. We were just down there today and the place is jam-packed. You know, at each infusion center, there's multiple people there. And, you know, you have a 15-year-old with a four-year-old right next to each other. There's obviously differences in what they're going through and, you know, as far as what level they're on and what keeps them entertained. So you have Barney playing right next to somebody who's trying to watch sports or listen to their music. So I think to give them a little bit of privacy when they're going through such a difficult stage in time and they kind of can't do that in the facility that they're in. And I know it takes a lot of capital to do that and a lot of money and they need the help and the kids need it more than anything. They do some incredible things for these kids and they really do care and they are saving lives. And I know it makes, um, everything they're going through here, just a little bit better to have um, the best doctors and the best nurses and the best um, volunteers of anywhere. And it does play a huge role in um, the experience that the kids have here and, and their chances of, of beating the cancer and beating the illness that they have. And if we can do anything to, to help out someone who's in need, you know, we try to do the best we can and, and, and give back.